Grill Sergeant here. Today's mission is Operation Smoker Burnoff. In our last video, we unboxed the brand new Pit Boss Pro Series Elite 1600. And today we're gonna do a burn off to properly break in and season this grill. And you're gonna wanna watch this one because we're gonna be doing some experimenting with seasoning the deflector plate to make it last much, much longer. Let's start the show. All right, first thing we gotta do is plug her in. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to open up the hopper assembly and I'm gonna hit the power button down here and I'm going to inspect that the auger inside there is gonna start turning. After we visually verified that auger motor is spinning, kill the power and let's go grab some pellets. Now I'm a huge fan of Pit Boss Mesquite pellets. You can use whatever you want, but for me, 100% hardwood is gonna pair awesome, especially with the VST which is gonna give us that variable smoke. This hopper can hold 33 pounds, so this 20 pound bag is gonna be plenty enough. You got the hopper loaded up. I like having a glass sight so you can actually see, hey, there are actually pellets in this hopper. So I'm gonna plug the smoker back in and we are going to hit the power button. And so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to prime the burn pot. So with the touchscreen interface over here, you're going to see this menu button, and then we are literally going to touch, hold prime, and that auger is going to spin. Two to three minutes, we're actually gonna start hearing the pellets hit the burn pot. All right, so now I can hear pellets hitting the hopper. You hear that little clink? Clinkling sound? Is that clinkling a word? I don't even know. I hear the pellets hitting the hopper. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the smoker. The auger is now primed, which means you have pellets inside your auger ready to dump and fuel in the burn pot. We already have some pellets already in there. So now when we're ready to start the smoke session, we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it back in. Before I turn it on, I'm going to open the smoker lid and I am going to hit the power button. So now is where the magic happens. We're actually gonna be now building a fire. All right, once the smoke starts to dissipate, you're actually going to hear the roar of the fire in the burn pot. Now what's really cool is the brushless motors for the fan, you can't hear it, it's whisper quiet. So this grill is a lot, lot quieter than what I'm used to. So now that we got the fire going, we're gonna close the lid. And now we're gonna come down to our control board. Now we're gonna turn up the temperature. And so we're gonna, and then I love the five degree increments. That is so awesome. So we're just gonna start cranking that up. Yeah, let's do about 450. So once it hits 450 degrees, we're gonna let it run for about 45 minutes. So I guess while we're waiting, I'm gonna open up the Pit Boss app and let's connect this smoker to the app. So I'm gonna click on grills and we are going to add a grill. So we're gonna hit yes. All right, privacy policy. Yep, continue. Oh, <laughs> is the Pro Series, we're gonna click on it. We're gonna call it, let's call it the, uh, Elite 1600, hit continue. Now we're gonna help it connect to Wi-Fi. It says grill Wi-Fi connection, your grill has been connected. We're gonna hit okay. And now we can go in and now we can say control our grill. Awesome. And what's cool is right when it hits 450, I'm going to get a notification on my phone that hey, your grill is up to temperature. I think that's so cool. I nerd out on stuff like that. We'll wait when this thing sends me a notification. Five minutes later. So I got an app notification that our grill is at 450. So I figure we have some time. We can actually check out the menu system. So I'm gonna hit settings. And what we really wanna check out is the P setting. So right now it's saying that it's in PID mode, which gives you a really, really consistent temperature, but you're like me, <laughs> VST, let's go to smoke mode. And then when you press down here, this will allow you to change it all the way from P0 to 
P7, and that is gonna dictate how much smoke you're gonna actually want. So I'm actually gonna go P6. P6 and P7 are gonna be the most extreme for smoke. And so now we're in smoke mode, and now it's basically going to produce a lot more smoke. So just down from the P setting down here, you have display. This, you can change it from either Celsius or Fahrenheit. The brightness, we can determine how bright we want the actual screen. After display, you have screensaver. Nothing's being activated. It will kind of just uh, go in screensaver mode. For the startup, this is kind of cool. If you turn this on, this means when you turn on your smoker, this will say, hey, what, what temperature do you want the smoker to go to? So if usually you turn it on and you want the smoker to get to 225 or 250, you can turn this on. That's pretty cool. Languages, you have obviously English. Uh, if it's nighttime, you have the light on here. If we wanted to do like a three second prime, we can do that. Um, and that's just gonna feed more pellets in. Up here, these little things say that it's connected to the internet and then you have the brushless motor fan that's on right now and it will show you if the auger is spinning, which it shows just right there, or if when it's turning on, it will show that the actual igniter. This thing's pretty cool, because not only can you move it up and down like this, you can also twist it side to side, so that's pretty cool. This smoker does not have a top stack. It's actually on the back side here, and so on the back side, we have this. Can move this thing left or right, the vents are gonna be kind of, not closed all the way, but kind of half shut. And then the more it's turned this way, they're gonna be full open. You have your pellet clean out. And so this, if you wanted to swap your pellets out, you basically pull up and out, and then all your pellets that are in the hopper will actually drop down. You can put them in a bucket, and that makes for easy uh, pellet clean out and swap. You have your rack hanger on the back right here. So if you're not using the top rack or middle rack, you can hang them up there. And then lastly, something that someone pointed out and I didn't even say in my last video is double wall insulated, which I believe this is my first pit boss that actually has the dual wall insulation. And so that is just gonna be that much better at basically keeping its temp. I mean, look at this, we're gonna look down here and still, we want it at 450 and it's at 450. Now mind you, you are gonna see this go up and down a little bit just because we do have it, not in PAD, but in the smoke mode, which you can actually still see even at this high temperature, still seeing smoke come out, which never seen that at such a high temperature before. So that's pretty cool. Woo! Smoker's been running at 450 degrees for 45 minutes. And now it's time to enter in the shutdown cycle. I'm feeling kind of lazy and actually don't want to bend over to hit the power button. So we're actually going to get back on the Pit Boss app. Do you really want to turn off your grill? I'm going to hit yes. So now it is entering the shutdown cycle. So technically the burn off is done, but we're now going to, after it cools down, we're going to do some seasoning. So we're going to check back in about 30 minutes. All right, smoker is now cooled down. But before we do that, we're gonna do a little modification here. I'm just gonna need a Phillips screwdriver and we are gonna take out the safety guard that is on the hopper. Now you might be asking, Grill Sergeant, why are you doing this? One, I'm smart enough to know to not put my fingers in here when the auger is turning. And two, if I wanna prime the burn pot, it's easy to grab some pellets and put in the burn pot if this isn't attached. Now that that's out of the way, I can get in here and I can grab some pellets for the burn pot. All right, let's season up this smoker. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove the racks. So for the inside of the smoker, I'm gonna be using the Pam grilling spray. And we are just gonna coat every square inch of the inside of the smoker. And we're talking about as much as we can, the lid as well. So we got the sides, the back. Now 
I'm not doing the deflector plate because for the deflector plate, I have a avocado oil. All right, my camera, for whatever reason, stopped recording midway, but for the avocado oil, I sprayed it on the heat deflector on the bottom, and then I put the racks back and then put the PAM spray on the racks. All right, now we are going to hit the power button. We're gonna turn this beast back on. We'll come back when that flame is rocking and rolling. All right, that fire's roaring, so what we're gonna do is close down the hatch. And I'm going to turn the smoker temperature up to, we could do like 400, and not long. About 15, 20 minutes. Let's see where we're at. Oh, nice. Beautiful season in color on that heat deflector. And she is ready for use. And now I don't have to worry about that heat deflector rusting out. Nice and well seasoned. Any questions, let me know them in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.